So right here, I'm requesting I have the Russell here. Uh, one of the questions that actually I can answer is, uh, um, I, uh, okay, this one is uh, the reason. So uh, what you are doing is you are probably putting blind spots and uh, levels of the same ticker on the same indicators. So one thing, the one small hack is add the second indicator and add the blind spots to a different indicator. So you have one ticker on one and the other ticker on the other one. So you can get the blind spots as well as the gamma level there. So and it's a, a good, it's a, it's a really nice example at the moment. Look at this. If you see this on, um, on, uh, on Fabio's monitor. So at the moment, there's not, no, not, no more any gamma level. And you have the blind spot nine and blind spot four on the top and the blind spot two. So we'll, we'll give you also some, some nice guidance. We have this sometimes, sometimes there's no more blind spot, but some, some gamma levels. Sometimes it's completely the other picture. We have the blind spots, but no more gamma levels. It's crazy. But this is, this is what I say. It works hand in hand. Because at the end, what we're doing is, uh, if, if you're looking to the options market, then we, we're looking to the options activity based on, on the Russell, on the, uh, on the futures. But what I'm doing with the blind spots, I'm looking for the strongest correlation and, and for the footprints from, from the hedge funds, from the institutionals, and then put this all together and build the blind spots. So this is why sometimes we have a little bit higher, sometimes a little bit higher, but sometimes we are all together. Um, and this is why it works so nice together. When you have this together on your shot, it's powerful. It's really yeah. powerful.